Now, Christmas can be a social minefield with numerous parties to attend, presents to give and receive, plus invites to dinner with people you'd usually avoid, you know that. Here to guide us through the do's and don'ts of all these situations is etiquette expert William Hanson. Thank you very much for having me. Hello, William. Thank you very much. How do you do? I always feel nervous uh, uh, when somebody, you know, well dressed with the <laughs> etiquette. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do with my hands. Well, we should relax. Just relax. Just relax. Just relax. relax. Just just relax. It's going to be fine. What are we doing? Can you talk us through what we need to be doing. Well, we are going to imagine that you're coming to my house for a Christmas party. Yes. Oh, and so nice. we're going to do it now. But before you arrive at someone's house, you need to take a gift. So we've got a lovely array in front of us here. Right. So if you'd like to pick something, I'll talk you through the gifts later. Right. But well, make your decision. Not What's a bird. No, we, no, that's not right. Chocolates, no. For a, for a man, um, don't think so. Flowers are a pain, aren't they, when you get given flowers? I would go for chocolate, because if he doesn't like it, at least we can have chocolate at the end. I, you see, I'm not saying it's just a bottle of red. Yeah, yeah that's wine and champagne. I'd go for it's going to be fussy, I don't like this, I don't like that. So you think chocolate? Chocolate, because if the dessert is rubbish, I can nibble on the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> let's go chocolate. I probably would have gone right. bubbles, so now but let's you, see. If yes. you go and take your positions at my front door, Thank you. because we'll you're see. going to arrive. Right. I think I'm starting well here. And do you want me to hold that? Because yes, the girls hold the gift, don't they? What do I hold? My wallet? Me. <laughs> okay, best behaviour. <laughs> <baby. laughs> All right, are we ready? Press this. Uh, oh, yes. Oh. Hello, Hi. Merry Christmas. Hello. Come Merry in. Christmas. Hello. Lovely to see you. Nice to see you. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you again. You. Thank you very much. Now, you? Are you going to shut the door or were we born in a barn? Oh! <laughs> This is not my house. So you were the last person through the door shuts the door. I didn't So as that. you were the last person, you would shut the door. Excellent. <laughs> well done indeed. Well done. Okay, now, how did we do just then? Well, fine, all that introduction was absolutely spot on. Now, we kiss now because we've met before, and that's fine. You wouldn't kiss someone that you have never met before. If they're a stranger, then it is it's a, just handshake. a handshake. And, you know, your handshake was very good, very strong. You can judge uh, a person by their handshake, and yours is a good, firm handshake, which means that you have confidence, and thus I have confidence in you. Oh, oh nice! Yes, yes. I like that. <laughs> Although I do like to kiss strangers. No, okay. I don't mind yes, that. you do do that I quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. It's a, I thought it was a bit friendly to say. But it's too know? much too soon because if you kiss them the first time you meet them, what are you doing the second time you oh, meet them? Oh, that's the question. I always get pulled I'll in tell you on another show. <laughs> <laughs> now, All right, what about our gift? Yes, well, now you brought me some chocolates. Gino's which is, choice. Gino's choice. Excellent. Chocolates you can't of go course. wrong with. See. Now, from the array on the table, the book is a great idea. It's not really done much nowadays. It's more in the Victorian days that they used to bring a hardback non fiction book. So that's a very good yes, idea. It's a bit retro. Book, and I thought that was an insult no. to bring that to you. So no, that, that would, I would be insulted. So, but okay, excellent. Fine. If it was any other book, fine. wonderful. Okay, Champagne cool. is good. Wine, better than bringing nothing. But <laughs> sometimes it puts the host in a bit of a pickle as to what on earth they should serve. Should they serve the wine you've just brought? Ooh, or yes. should they serve yeah. the wine they've chosen to get with the meal? I've been there as well. Yeah. Exactly. What should I do? What should I do? Yeah. You, know, put it you, in don't, you might not want it. Yeah, and flowers, if they're not an aqua bouquet, which that one wasn't, and they're not already in water, then the host has to worry about putting them in water. Water, getting and the bars and all yes. that, and I've been there And too. they don't want to do that, so okay, that's good. That's right, dinner's ready, so, Dinner. so we sit Shall we down. Sit? Yes. All right. Now, I'm Oh, thinking. now, actually, oh. yes. Well, well done, Gino. Thank Gino's you. excellent. Which is good, but I'm thinking But I'd I like you to go here, because we want boy, girl, boy, boy, boy. girl. We're going to be boy, traditional. Girl. Yes. Right, okay. So, Gino, you pull it out for now. Very nice. Lovely. Excellent. Well done. Now, in front of us, we have our... Crackers. Yes. Obviously, you can't have a Christmas dinner or lunch without your crackers. So, what's yeah. a good time to pull your cracker then? At the beginning. At, right. the, beginning at the beginning of the beginning. lunch. Get yes. it out the way. <laughs> All right. So, um, who pulls? Okay, who, who pulls pull whose? Yeah. As a lady, it would be the person on your left. Oh. Okay, Gino. So, you want to pull with Gino? Okay. There is any way to pull the cracker? Well, or... you don't want to. What you're doing is perfect. If you put use two hands or you extended your hand beyond the ribbon, that would be cheating. So, I'm That's cheating. So, you have okay. to just tell. All right, but you're the lady, go, but for go, the gentleman. Go. Off you go. Oh! oh. No. Right, well, the toy's fallen out. Cards. But don't play with the toy. I mean, it's never very exciting, so why you would want to play with it in the first place. That's the best part of the cracker. No. <laughs> if you're going to do that, wait until after the meal, because as the host, I've prepared a lovely Christmas lunch, and I want you to eat it. I don't want you to so sit there playing with the So we can't just start playing snap, okay. can we? Not that yet. would be rude. At the end. Snap. At All the right. End. Okay. Fine. Now, in... So we the cracker. <laughs> we've got our party hats. Yeah. Okay. Now, do we put them... Well, you must be allowed to wear them, surely. Technically. Do's. By etiquette, gentlemen don't wear hats indoors, but Christmas party hats 
is the, are the exceptions. Now, would you get offended if I don't wear the hat because then I mess my hair? Well, I'm not going <laughs> to be offended. That's what I was thinking, but thought yeah. best not to say. But I, I think no, no, should... because sometimes, you know, people put it, I don't want to wear it, so are, are you, is he is offensive right? to you? Um, I, I personally wouldn't get offended, but others might. And also, you know, don't be a party pooper. It's not going to mess up Just your hair, particularly. Just put it on. It's Come Christmas. On. <laughs> it's get fine. it on. Excellent. All right, so... OK. Um, so, sometimes... Dinner. Yeah, sometimes, Can I tell you a joke from the cracker? Well, if you want, yes. Oh. Even if it's a dirty joke? Or you think it's not suitable? Well, if you're amongst friends, then that's okay. fine. But let's say you've got elderly relatives there who may not like it, or you're with people that you don't know, strangers that you've never met before or have very rarely met, probably best avoid it. Sure. OK. To read it anyway, because okay. it's quite fun. What does a Santa use to take photos? I don't know. <laughs> Do you? No. A North Polaroid. Oh, it's lovely. Oh. That's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the reason why I play with the toy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now then, um, so that's dinner. What about when we're at the party? So we're all having a yeah, soiree. Yeah, if and... you were having a Christmas drinks party, yes. sometimes you do get stuck with a bit of a bore. Mm. Have you ever been there? Yeah, and you're talking to someone? many times. Very, very bore. Oh, I always come up with something to do with napkins and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you can't. Don't do if you're it at now. A, if you're standing up with, at a drinks party, you, there won't be napkins okay. to hand. So you've okay. got to talk to them. But if they are really boring and you're trying your best to get a good conversation out of them, okay. it's not a lot you can How do. do you... Excuse yourself. If it's just you, if it's just what, two people talking, so you and the other person, don't leave them there standing on their own. Even That's if you rude. want to go to the loo, what yeah, do you do Yeah, find someone else for them to talk to. So say, <laughs> now, uh, I would say, let's pretend I found you a bit bo boring, Gino. We're pretending here. Bid. I would say, Gino, I, I've just seen someone over there I've just got to catch. Now, have you met Melanie? And you would say, oh, no, or, oh, yes, I oh, have. Yeah, yeah. Let me come and introduce you to Melanie. I would introduce you to Melanie, give a little bit of information about Gino. Uh, Gino is an excellent chef, and I do believe you like cooking, Melanie. And then, once you had started to talk, I would say, do excuse me, I've just got to go and And then I would person. find you later and be and very upset with you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but what I haven't done is I haven't just gone, oh, bye, and walked yes. off, Gino, okay, and left you on your own. I want to ask you something, because uh, we pretend that you are my wife in this instant we come for dinner. Yeah. If I want to kiss my wife at the table, <laughs> is that allowed? <laughs> No, uh, oh, because sometimes well, you are in a situation where you go to mistletoe. I do I need thing. to use that to, to kiss? Well, at Christmas, you know, it's traditional. What so about if I want to put my hand on her leg? Oh, no. Nobody's going to see anything. But we might be able to tell by your reaction. Oh, so well, let's that's true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do you? Hey, don't bring the tone down. Well, that's all really brilliant. So you're allowed to kiss if you're in a party situation because yeah. it's traditional, but not Even at the table because that's rude. I'd avoid strangers because, again, it's going to make them feel uncomfortable. you got something against kissing. <laughs> no! <laughs> kiss, but you, I wouldn't want to be kissed by any old Tom, Dick or Harry. All right. All right. Well, listen, thank you so much. I think it is that's brilliant. brilliant. Thank, yes, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, still to come. Table this Christmas, right after this, get your. <laughs> <laughs>